Hi everybody, hello apa khabar semua? Saya Kuah, sekali lagi dari Bestwing Solution. Pada hari ini saya nak introducekan satu produk. Produk ini adalah satu produk yang khususnya diguna pakai di motorhome ataupun di camper van ya. So for this episode, I would like to show you this model, and this is the Elpico CR65. Yeah, Elpico model CR65. Okay. So saya nak tunjukkan anda tentang fridge ini di mana dimensinya boleh di dapat cari, okay, atas uh, Bestwing Solution punya Facebook uh, post ataupun di uh, Sopi Bestwing Solution. So dari pada sini saya akan tunjukkan fridge ini uh, macam apa yang saya berdiri kat tepinya. So saiznya lebih kurang dalam, okay, dua kaki setengah ya, okay. So for this fridge uh, dia punya open kan? Open dari pada sini ya. Kita tarik macam ni dan kita akan keluarkan pintunya. So sekarang saya bawa you dari jauh dulu, okay? Nanti baru you datang ke depan boleh tengok dengan lebih jelas sedikit ya. So pintu uh, cara buka, I mean for this fridge itu pintu boleh buka, right? Dia boleh ditukar arah, ya. Yeah? You can actually switch the door, okay? From this side uh, to the other side, okay? That mean you boleh open daripada sini lah, boleh buka dari sini. Dengan uh, cara pertukaran untuk buka beberapa skru dan uh, alihkan arah untuk pintu ni cara untuk buka. Okay? So, uh, as you can see, dia punya pintu agak solid. Okay? Uh, tebal juga. Macam fridge biasa. It's almost the same like the home fridge. So, when you close it, okay, uh, you can hear the click sound from here. Very loud. Okay? Because my mic is somewhere here so the surface a nampak silver okay okay dia silver color dan daripada belakang tepi uh, belakang sini dia punya ruang this is an open space for the fan and the compressor as you can see uh, anda boleh nampak daripada sini okay kita ada dia punya compressor okay dan dia punya fan dan condenser bersama dengan module okay dan dengan semua sistem control dan fuse protectionnya, okay. Dan pada belah sini pula anda juga boleh nampak <coughs> dia condenser fan dia, okay. Dia ada suck, you know, itu air ataupun blue keluar, okay, daripada sini, ya. Yeah. So pemasangan untuk fridge yang macam ni dia agak standard, ya. Yeah. It's quite standard for majority motorhome and also the camper van, because a lot of customer who want to buy this and request us to bring in this product is because they would like to replace okay the original uh, fridge that is uh, powered up by not DC maybe they power up by the gas okay or propane propane okay so that's why they want to change to something a lot more simple which is this type of fridge so bila dia nak tukar tu dia orang akan uh, Datang dan nak tahu dia punya size, they want to know the size whether is is able to fit in to their original space on their camper van or their motorhome. So for your information, uh, the past few customer that bought this from us also able to fit it in nicely, perfect, uh, and replace the original fridge which is uh, originally uh, fit in from the the import uh, motorhome or either the camper van from. Uh, overseas okay so from here <coughs> as you can see this is the compartment right you can actually take off this you know by you know simply just put it up like that okay so you can fit it in there's two way uh, two two tier okay dua baris okay dan, dan masukkan sebegini okay you put it back like this I'm mixing my English and Bahasa Malaysia so that I hope uh, both can be understand, can be uh, boleh paham dengan baik, senang. Okay, sekarang saya taruh balik. Dua baris, satu atas dan bawah dan satu tempat untuk kita letak. Uh, this is place for the sayur-sayuran, vegetable, for fruit and things like that. Okay, atas, which on upper side, we have a compartment, okay, which is a freezer that you can see from here. And there is a compartment that you can actually... Uh, loose off and then you can take up this 
And then you can make the whole fridge. You boleh jadikan fridge ni satu saja suhu control. Okay, dan kepingan ini boleh disimpan ataupun kepingan penutup ini juga boleh dikeluarkan sekiranya if you do not want to use the fridge for the freezer. If you want the fridge for freezer, then you can use this and then you boleh letak macam ni. You can put it in like that. Okay, and then just push it in. Okay, alright. And then for this piece, is also removable. Boleh diangkat keluar, senang. So, just masukkan dan dengan arah dia, dia ada satu arah. Okay, boleh masukkan. Okay, just tolak. Okay, tolak dan dia akan tutup bagi compartment freezer di atas. Yeah. So, di bawah uh, untuk netting ni pun sama juga. Boleh dikeluarkan dan senang untuk dilap dan dibersihkan. Alright. So, for fridge ni, dia ada lampu kat dalam. Okay. Dan clippingnya lebih kurang macam ni. Sekarang saya nak tunjukkan cara untuk kita nak control kita punya fridge on the temperature setting side. Okay. Uh, over here, as you can see, the control is on the left hand side. Okay. In the events that you do not like the 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 closing part, which is close to the control, you can switch the side to the right hand side. But the control is always going to be maintained on the left hand side here. Okay. Right. But you can open it up from here. Okay, right now, let me show you the control system for this fridge. Okay, I'm going to slow down a bit. Okay, this is the power button as you can see, and this is the setting button, and this is the minus and the plus. Okay, so of course, on off is uh, by pressing the power button. Now I'm connected to a battery at home. Okay, right, so the battery now I already off. Okay, I can sense there's a bit of vibration, or there's a little gagaran. Di mana compressionnya telah berhenti. The compression has stopped now. Okay, so I'm going to on this fridge back so that I can show you the detail. Once I on this fridge, bila saya on, ah, dia ada sedikit gegaran, a little bit of vibration. It means that the compressor is now working. Okay, so from here, you can see this is the plus and minus. Okay, so if I want the maximum cooling is a minus 20. Okay. So from here the minus 20 you can move it up okay okay up to minus 12 only okay that means from minus 12 until minus 20 is the temperature that we can set in the event dalam keadaan kita nak guna freezer jadi temperature setting itu adalah minus 12 sampai ke minus 20 okay right so from here as you can see kita tekan setting ni dia ada freezer Dan kita tekan setting, dia ada refrigerator. Okay. Jadi, selepas you nampak freezer atau refrigerator, you boleh set dia punya temperature untuk refrigerator. Refrigerator punya temperature hanya dalam lingkungan minimum sampai kosong ataupun maksimum sampai ke lapan sahaja. Iaitu daripada kosong sampai ke lapan untuk Refrigerator, iaitu macam kita katakan untuk chiller lah, okay? So kalau untuk setting pergi ke freezer, you akan nampak dia punya temperature daripada negatif 12 sampai ke tahap negatif 20. Jadi dia ada dua pilihan. Okay, katakan sekarang kita nak angkat keluar freezer ya, ya sini memang sudah sejuk lah, ya. Kita angkat keluar freezer, okay? Jadi anda punya setting, okay? Bila kita dah angkat keluar ni, benda ni pun boleh angkat keluar lah. Okay, kalau tak nak, masih boleh macam ni. Tapi tak ada kegunaan sebab you dah tak ada compartment dekat atas ni. Yeah, for example, you take out this already. Okay, so setting kita, you boleh tengok dari sini. Okay, dia masih sama. You boleh set kalau you freezer mode, minus 20. Yeah. Kalau untuk setting freezer, dia memang daripada uh, negatif, negatif 12 ya. Yeah. Sampai ke negative 20. Ya? Kalau set untuk refrigeration saja, anda boleh set daripada kosong sampai ke uh, kosong sampai ke 8 degree. Okay? Kosong dan sampai ke 8 degree. Itu maksimumnya. Okay? Dia tak boleh naik lagi. Okay? Right. Itu dua adalah settingnya dan satu lagi setting dalaman. Uh, the third level of set, setting okay, will be uh, whether you want to use uh, the battery protection mode, let's say you press the setting for very long, and then you will see the signal of uh, three bintik, yeah, tiga line. Ni. You this is actually medium and this is actually high. 
So this is a battery protection mode that if you set like this three, it means your battery will the fridge will stop lah. If you're using your motorhome's uh, power or battery, then the lever will show F1 like this. Very nice. So I have been powered the fridge since yesterday. So now my battery basically is already around about 11.5 watt. So that when I set it to the higher, it is F1. Dia tak boleh pakai lagi kan? So but kalau saya set saya punya battery setting sekarang vibration dah stop. Saya set pergi low, okay? The fridge masih boleh jalan sekiranya battery tu masih ada dalam 11 watt, you will still able to move and continue uh, for the fridge to work. Uh, you have to off the power first after you do the setting and then you on it back. You off it first and you on it back. If the battery still have sufficient power, you will be able to power up the fridge uh, until the temperature, uh, not until the voltage of the battery drop down to about 10.0 okay all right at the moment it show me that i cannot power up the fridge anymore because my battery is already uh not not really in the uh, voltage that i can still continue power the fridge okay all right so basically this is already explained now i'm trying to uh show you some other things other than this control i'm going to put it back all this okay Okay, just push like that <coughs> and then close it right as you can see this one right this is the the, the tray right the bekas untuk kita letak benda-benda macam sayur-sayuran okay saya tutup balik all right so let me just uh, on off my battery So after the F1, if you set your battery mode on the lowest, which is the L mode, then you on off your battery. After you on off your battery, you can still run your fridge for a period of time. Okay, so the, the setting of the fridge that you can see now, it will always show you your fridge current temperature. Okay, after you release, you know, no more touching on the control panel, you will see the the, the, the fridge uh, current temperature and the designated temperature that you want the fridge to do is uh, zero okay let's say so from 11 degree it will be going down until zero and you will be maintaining this is how the fridge temperature settings works okay so it comes with the fridge it comes with uh, only the cable okay which is the DC cable it didn't come with the adapters there's no adapter provided, but uh, adapter if you really need for AC purposes, we have optional adapter to for sales. Okay, you have uh, owner menus. Okay, it show you all the information inside in English, and then uh, you pun ada satu bekas untuk buat ais. Okay, di mana anda boleh letakkan air dan taruh di dalam, ya, di tempat freezer, di kompartmen freezer. Alright, so setakat ni, uh, saya rasa untuk fridge uh, F, apa CR65 ya, dia adalah 65 liter. This fridge is 65 liter. So, if you do find that uh, your motorhome would like to replace uh, to a newer version on DC fridge, you can kindly contact us on the best wing solution. So, we have uh, some stock ready. Then, uh, you can check with us on our Facebook Messenger or you can direct uh, contact us on our WhatsApp that you can locate either in the Google's of Best Wing Solution or either on the, what is it, the Sopi. We're also going to list this product, you know, up on the Sopi. If you are not uh, from surrounding Kuala Lumpur area, uh, we can actually ship it to you, okay? Right, that's about it for the introduction and also some of the information that you needed to know on this fridge. Uh, itu saja untuk hari ini saya punya cerita tentang uh, model Epico, uh, motorhome or camper van uh, fridge, built-in fridge, uh, CR65. Ya, Harganya okey je, bukan mahal sangat. Ya, Terima kasih dan jumpa lagi dalam uh, episod yang lain. Terima kasih. Bye-bye.